Hello and welcome back. We're here today with more of our sweet coffee, although we're down to about 280 mils for that sweet, sweet caffeine. I love this coffee mug, if you can't tell. Anyway, today we are reacting to another Kurtz Gazogd video, Wormholes Explained, Breaking Space Time. If there's one thing about science that's interesting, it's talking about wormholes. I think everyone can agree about that. Wormholes are just, they're mind blowing and they're awesome. You can't go wrong. Be sure to check out the original content and support the creators of this video. If you saw a wormhole in reality, it would appear round, spherical, a bit like a black hole. Light from the other Kinda side sense. passes through and gives you a window to a far away place. Once crossed, the other side comes for the interview, with your old home now receding into that shimmering spherical window. Mm -hmm. I've played Portal before. Wormholes real, or are they just magic disguised as physics and mass? If they are real, how do they work, and where can we find them? To be fair, magic is just science that we don't understand yet. I love their intros. For most of human history, we thought space was pretty simple. A mm -hmm. big flat stage where the events of the universe unfold. Boy, has our understanding changed over the years. Planets and stars, there's still something left. That empty stage is space, and it exists. Unchanging and eternal. Einstein's theory of mm -hmm. relativity changed that. It says that space and time make up that stage together, and they aren't the same everywhere. And they're malleable. Yep. The things on the stage can affect the stage itself, stretching and warping it. If the old stage was like unmoving hardwood, Einstein's stage is more like a waterbed. Oh man, I love waterbeds. ...can be bent and maybe even torn and patched together, which could make wormholes possible. Mm -hmm. Let's see what that would look like in 2D. Our universe is like a big flat sheet. Bent in just the right way, wormholes could connect two very, very distant spots with a short bridge that you could cross almost instantaneously. In a I've seen some videos and read some content on wormholes in the past. My understanding of it, which may be incorrect because once again, I do not have a science background. I am not a scientist, nor do I play one on TV. But my understanding is that while wormholes are theoretically possible, you would need things that we have not observed yet in the universe in order to create them. For instance, you would need negative energy. Well, negative energy was one explanation. Throughout the various different ways of opening a wormhole, either A, it requires something that we have not observed yet, and of course the second reason being that if a wormhole does open, it wouldn't be something that would be usable because you couldn't pass anything through it useful. Any living thing would certainly be killed and anything as far as instruments go or machines or robots or whatnot would be obliterated beyond recognition. And then some people bring up the argument that wormholes of course allow for faster than light travel, but that's not technically true because a wormhole is a shortcut. You're not traveling through space all that distance. And of course the rule is you cannot travel faster than light through space. Enabling you to travel the universe even faster than the speed of light. Ah, see? So where can we find a wormhole? Presently, only on paper. General mm -hmm. relativity says they might be possible. To be fair, a lot of things exist. that we know about today were thought of only on paper. Theory. It's a set of equations that have many possible answers, but not all maths describes reality. And then I got a lot of things we thought of on paper never came true. And there are different kinds. <laughs> kind of I love these guys' effects and their music and everything. Every black hole as a sort of portal to an infinite parallel universe. Let's try to picture them in 2D again. Empty space time is flat, but curved by objects on it. Mm -hmm. If we compress that object, space time gets more curved around it. Eventually, space time becomes so warped that it has no choice but to collapse into a black hole. Okay, yep. A one way barrier forms the event horizon, which anything can enter, but nothing can escape. Following so far, the singularity at its core. But maybe there is no singularity here. One possibility is that the other side of the event horizon looks a bit like our universe again. Is that the white hole? Right? Down, is that what they call that? Time runs backwards. In 
parallel universe, things fall into the black hole. But one thing I've heard a lot about is how there's no reason for time to go forward. When it comes to the, the flow of time being forward or backward, we don't know why it flows in the direction it does. You know, why doesn't it work the other way? In the parallel universe with backwards time, the mirror black hole is spewing things out a bit like a big bang. This is called a white hole. Unfortunately, Einstein Rosen bridges can't actually be crossed. It takes an infinite amount of time to cross over to the opposite universe and they crimp shut in the middle. If you go into a black hole, you won't become the stuff coming out of the white hole. You'll only become dead. <laughs> so, to travel the cosmos in the blink of an eye, humans need a different kind of wormhole, a traversable wormhole. Mm -hmm. Very old string theory wormholes. Theory or one of its variations is the string theory is insane. Universe, then we could be lucky, and our universe might even have a tangled web of countless wormholes already. Shortly after the Big Bang, quantum fluctuations in the universe at the smallest scales, far, far smaller than an atom, may have created many, many traversable wormholes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Threaded through them are strings called cosmic strings. In the first billionth of a trillionth of a second after the Big Bang, the ends of these tiny, tiny wormholes were pulled light years apart, scattering them through the universe. If wormholes were made in the early universe, whether with cosmic strings or some other way, they could be all over, just waiting to be discovered. One might even be closer than we realize. You'd think we would have observed one by now, though. Black holes and Although, holes can look very similar. yeah, we could be mistaking them for black holes. The supermassive black holes in the center of galaxies are actually wormholes. It will be very hard to go all the way to the center of the Milky Way to find out, though, but that's okay. 26,000 light years. Extremely hard way to get our hands on a wormhole. We could try to make one. <laughs> that doesn't sound risky at all. To be traversable and useful, there are a few properties we want a wormhole to have. First, it, it needs to not kill us. Two distant parts of space time, like your or our planet, the bathroom, or Earth and Jupiter. Can you imagine actually having like portal gun from portal? Being able to just create these wormholes and Third, it should be sufficiently sized. That'd be so cool. Forces don't kill human travelers. I'd be so lazy with it too. To solve is keeping our wormholes open. I love the retro design that they're going with right now. Gravity tries to close them. Gravity wants to pinch it closed and cut the bridge. That makes sense. Holes at the ends. Whether it's a traversable wormhole with both ends and ours, or a wormhole to another universe, it will try to close unless we have something propping it open. Is that where the negative energy comes from? Wormholes, that's the cosmic or comes in, rather? For man-made wormholes, oh. we need a new ingredient. Exotic matter. This Exotic matter? We find on Earth, or even antimatter. It's something totally new and different and exciting with crazy properties like nothing that's ever been seen before. <laughs> Exotic matter so it probably doesn't exist. Mass. Positive mass like people and planets and everything else in the universe mm -hmm. is attractive because of gravity. But negative mass would be repulsive. It would push you away. This makes a kind of anti-gravity that props open our wormholes. And exotic matter must exert enormous pressure to push space-time open, greater even than the pressure at the centers of neutron stars. See, even if that does exist, it sounds extremely dangerous. However we see fit. We may even have a candidate for this. If you're looking at something with enough power to hold open a black hole, what's keeping that energy in and keeping you safe from that energy? I feel like it's just a really, really bad idea. Exotic matter, the vacuum of space itself. Quantum fluctuations in empty space are constantly creating pairs of particles and antiparticles, only mm -hmm. for them to be annihilated an instant later. Now, to be fair, aren't those virtual particles more of a mathematical trick than an actual thing? That was my understanding, which may be incorrect. The vacuum of space is boiling with them, and we can already manipulate them to produce an effect similar to the negative mass we're looking for. Okay, so we can already we manipulate it. To stabilize our wormholes. Okay. Once we're keeping it open, the ends would start together, so we'd have to move them around to interesting places. We could start by wiring the solar system, leaving one end of each wormhole in orbit around the Earth. We could fling others into deep space. 
That'd be really cool. Like, uh, the X-Series video games. Love those. ...spread over light years, but only a wormhole away. However, wormholes have a dark side. Even opening a single wormhole kind of breaks the universe in fundamental ways, potentially creating time travel paradoxes and violence in <laughs> the causal structure of the universe. Many scientists think that got the back to the future car be impossible to make, but that it's impossible for them to exist at all. So for now, we only know that wormholes exist in our hearts and on paper in the form of equations. It's quite an interesting video. I really did enjoy it. I always enjoy the Kurzgesagt videos. Wormholes, though, should be impossible, as they kind of explained at the end, because it could potentially allow you to get into situations where effect comes before cause. Yeah, it's just kind of mind-numbing, to be honest. At the end of the day, I think it'd be amazing to live in a world where we had this technology, where there's a portal in orbit around every place of interest, and we simply have to bring a spaceship through it, and hop on out on the other side almost instantaneously. Of course, that's probably not possible, but it would be really cool. Even better would be a portal gun, like in Portal. That would be awesome. I would be so lazy with that, I would never walk again. <laughs> I mean, other than stepping through the portal. I would literally teleport from here to my coffee maker about six feet over the air. I'd love to learn some more on portals, though, on wormholes. And maybe there's some other cool videos out there that we can check out on that topic because I'm very intrigued. So maybe we'll check one of those out. If you like this content, please drop me a like. It helps me more than you could know. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. And thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I hope that you have yourself such a wonderful day.